Hey everyone, so it's Izzy here. Um, I know last time I made a video was six months ago and I'm really, really sorry for that. But hey, I'm here now, so let's focus on the positive, am I right? So, um, lately everything has been going really, really well. I've been watching a lot of vegan documentaries. or I'm not sure if they're like specifically vegan, but um, they're really like informational about it. Like I watched Forks Over Knives finally. Um, and that was just really awesome. Like, I made my parents watch it earlier, too. And they were cooking at the moment, and they were just like, oh. And they, like, felt kind of guilty. But, you know, it's okay. And I like how my head's, like, in the middle of this whole Mandela wall. Like, I didn't even notice that. But it's kind of funny. And actually, this is new. I just got it. And my last video wasn't there. I actually got it on Amazon for, like, a really good price. So, if you want a Mandela kind of, like, tapestry kind of thing, it's only, like, $15 on Amazon, which is, like, super good. Because at Urban Outfitters, they're, like, 50 So, Amazon. So, back to what I was talking about, documentaries. Um, what else did I watch? I watched, like, Living on One Dollar... That was pretty cool too. It's not about like veganism at all, but it was cool. I watched that like three in the morning last night. Um, I also watched Cowspiracy, which is like really good without with um, the envi environmental effects. What else did I watch? Oh yeah, Vegetation. That was really cool actually. I really enjoyed that. Like honestly, that's one of my goals. Just take like three random people and just show them the truth and uh, challenge them to do a vegan lifestyle and uh, I don't know I feel like if everyone was educated on this subject and they cared about animals and they realized like the true like uh, there's the true meaning behind everything of our animal industries and what like meat and dairy ha does to your body then like the vegan population would soar like like it would just boom boom and honestly it is booming now like I feel like there's so many more vegans and vegetarians just arising and it's just so awesome like um ever since I went vegan I've turned I turned I've turned so many people I've just like brought the vegan lifestyle onto so many people and it is awesome like right at the moment I'm making a um kind of animal rights club at my school it's called Roar, Reaching Out for Animal Rights. Um, and we're going to go to, like, shelters and raise money for animal rights. So I'm, like, super excited for that. And um, honestly, being a vegan has been one of the biggest just changes in my life. It just, it allowed me to know, know that, like, I'm in charge of what I do. And everything that you buy and everything that you do has a purpose and it has an effect and it takes a toll on the world. Like whatever you buy goes to support another industry. So I've like really brought that kind of thing into purchasing cruelty free and purchasing industries I personally would like to support. So yeah, that's a big thing and I don't know, just being vegan has just been awesome. I'm I just can't believe that this wasn't this didn't happen sooner and I didn't know everything sooner. That's why I'm trying to spread it. Like, people at my school, and I've just been tweeting <laughs> so many random things, just just pop in my mind about like veganism and animal rights and whatever. But yeah, if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at i five i p f e i f. Maybe I'll add a little thingy down here. But um, I don't know. Being vegan has been awesome, and it's been like a little bit over six months. I know my 200th day being vegan was a couple days ago, and I do really want to make a what I eat in a day video, but honestly, I don't have that much time, but I'll manage. Swim team is over now, so I'll manage. It's no excuse. Just a couple minutes out of my day to record, am I right? So, new things. Ben and Jerry's came out with dairy-free ice cream, so that's super cool. This one's the peanut butter and cookies one and it's not even full it's actually never been full I just signed up for their newsletter and they sent me these like cool free pint things of non-dairy ice cream so I think I'll just like go to the Ben and Jerry's place and they'll give me two free pints so that's super cool 
And I actually just want to keep this because it's just so cute. I don't know. I got this in the mail and I'll, it just made me happy. So, you know. I don't know. I, I can't wait to, like, just go to, like, a restaurant or whatever and to be, like, the norm to have, like, a whole bunch of vegan options and to be able to order smoothies and, like, a vegan soy milkshake or something, you know? Like, that should be the norm. I don't know. And all these, like, fast foods coming out, I know fast food isn't good for you, but they could at least make it, like, a little better for you instead of offering, like, dairy milkshakes I can't wait until they have like soy milkshakes or veggie burgers. I know that Burger King has one, but it's only vegetarian. Cause I was really upset when I found out that. But it was, it has eggs in it. Yeah, that's what it is. Something like that. So I was like, waste. Why even call it a veggie burger if you put eggs in it? Which I know, I'm not trying to offend vegetarians, but come on girls. Guys, guys and girls, make a, make the step, go vegan, you know? Cause I mean, you're still technically supporting those bad industries yeah so anywho um what i ate today let me just give you a little update since i haven't made a what and i ate day what and i ate day what i eat in a day video ever so um this morning i had like a whole bunch of fruit watermelon cantaloupe pineapple grapes green grapes um strawberries yeah just assortment green tea I've been really trying to not drink coffee lately. I don't really know why. I've actually really liked drinking black coffee, but my English teacher scared me off about it. I don't know. He just said, we we're going to die young if we drink it. So I was like, okay, <laughs> maybe I won't drink coffee anymore. So I've just been drinking green tea, but um, what I eat for lunch. Oh, yeah, then I made a sweet potato. Thank you, Mrs. Vegan on YouTube. She taught me how to cook a sweet potato in the microwave, which probably isn't the best. But, you know, she said microwaves are good because they store the nutrients and they don't lose them. And then I had some portobello mushroom things, like the big mushroom things. My dad grilled them. And then just some hummus and dip. And I haven't had dinner yet. It's about, like, five-ish now, I think. So I'll eat later. I don't know what I'm going to have. My dad's having, like, a barbecue. Okay, let me just go ahead and rant because it makes me so sad. So, my dad and I went to the grocery store. And we were in the meat section. And, I, okay, I was pushing the cart and I just did not want to look at it. So, I was just, like, looking down in the cart. And I saw these, like, lobsters near the seafood section stuck in, a, like, a little glass cage. And I just, like, was staring at it, like, hmm, sorry, guys. Dude, how cool it would be if I took one out. Okay, anyways. And just, like, you know, kept it as a pet or, like, released it. That would be, like, totally horrible. But, like, like, bad illegal. But, you know, actually, is it illegal? Could you buy one? Because they technically are selling them, right? Could you buy one, like, alive? Okay, I don't know. Anyways, sorry about that random idea, but... Anywho, back to the story, my dad was like, oh yeah, we're gonna buy a whole bunch of steaks. And I was just like, and my dad was like, Izzy, what kind of meat do you like? He knows I'm vegan. And I was like, the swimming kind. Because I'm a swimmer, so you know, swim meats. And he just smiled. But, um, anyways, he spent $200 on meat. Actually, not even including chicken, just freaking cow. Uh, <laughs> Dad, you're paying for your death. Like, oh. Like, literally, after watching, like, Forks Over Nice, just the other day, it was, like, showing how red meat and, um, I don't know, maybe it was just meat consumption in general leads to cancer, and the number one, um, heart, number one killer in America is heart disease, and that is, like, linked with meat and dairy. Okay, thank God my dad is allergic to dairy, so, you know, he's a little safer. But, you know, he's a big meat eater. And he was a vegetarian for health reasons when he was little. And I'm not knocking anyone who's, like, that for health reasons, but they're more prone to, like, getting off of it because they, like, tend to not have, like, a moral standpoint on, like, veganism or vegetarianism. So my dad, like, he lost 300 pounds <laughs> when he went vegetarian. Like, and he, but he was, like, working out crazy. Like... <laughs> 
Yeah, like, he woke up at 4 in the morning, went to the gym, and, like, worked out forever. He was so freaking dedicated, and he ate, like, a boss. But I guess he just, like, gave up, and he always tells me, like, God puts food on us, food on earth for us to eat. Like, he says animals are for us to eat, and I'm, like, I'm a Christian, and I do believe that, like, I mean, we were given this stuff for, like, us to, like, eat at one point in our lives, but we don't need that anymore. Like, what it's doing to our world is detrimental, and our environment is breaking and global warming because of these factory farms, because they're, like, the number one factor of global warming now. So, honestly, we don't need it. I'm living proof. Well, okay. Yeah, kind of, yeah. I mean, I'm not dead. I've been six months veganism. I wasn't gonna say I'm not living proof 100% yet, because, you know, I was not vegan for, like, the majority of my life, so, yeah. But, you know, one day, you know, I'm gonna be vegan for the majority of my life. Until I'm only 16, so you know, when I'm old, like 100, I'm like, hell yeah. But, you know, there's like people now that just crazy living proof. So, I don't know. It's a crazy world. I really hope that this like message can be like brought so far and just expand to schools and all over. And I don't know. I've been trying to start a petition for my school to incorporate more vegan or vegetarian options, which actually my school has quite a lot of. Like, they have a bean burger with no cheese, because they made it without cheese for me specifically. And you can just, like, make your own kind of sandwich or ask them to not put meat or cheese on it or tacos. Yeah, basically it. But, you know, it's good for, for like, I don't know. I usually pack my lunch anyways, so... But even when I, like, do forget, because I'm in a lot of, like, uh, groups and such, then it's good to, like, you know, be able to. And just, like, you don't think I'm, like, a freak or anything, I'm sitting on my bed. That's why, like, my legs, and these don't even look like legs. <laughs> I'm wearing tribal leggings right now. So, like, that's why I might look a little crazy. But, whoa! Maybe I should, like, do a yoga video, honestly. I'm, like, contortionist. Just kidding, not really, but kind of no not really not kind of at all but uh, I want to join the gymnastics team I don't have one at my school but I have one at my new school because I'm moving to Washington um, I live in San Antonio Texas at the moment but I'm going to move I don't know exactly where but on the east side of Washington on the border of Canada and Idaho so yeah if you're around there that'd be pretty awesome and I'm like excited because that's near like well, it's not necessarily near it, but my my um, family up there lives near Portland, Oregon, and Seattle, Washington, and that's like hippie towns with vegan stuff everywhere, so that's going to be awesome. So yeah, I'm actually really psyched to move. So yeah, um, this was just like an update video on my life, so hopefully I'll upload more. I don't know. I don't know what else to say, but... Thank you for watching. If you did watch this whole thing, leave suggestions below of what kind of videos I could make. And follow me on Instagram, Tumblr, Twitter, etc. And I'll leave the links below. But thank you for watching this video if you did. And have a blessed day. Go vegan.